Want to feel more confident in the kitchen when a recipe calls for a bell pepper? I'm going to show you four ways to cut bell peppers, plus a few easy tips to keep the seeds from going everywhere. Hey there, I'm Molly Thompson from What Molly Made. Welcome back to my kitchen where we make good food that makes you feel good too. Today we are taking it back to the basics with how to cut a bell pepper. Knife skills are a fundamental of cooking and a few of these tips are going to make you feel like a pro in the kitchen. Let's get started. There are two essential tools you need to cut a bell pepper, a cutting board and a sharp chef's knife. Ideally, you want it to be around eight inches so you have more control over it as you slice and dice. Let's start by slicing bell peppers, also known as a julienne. Flip the pepper over so the stem side is down on the cutting board. Use a sharp knife to slice down around four sides of the pepper so you end up with four pieces. You're essentially cutting around the seeds. Use your knife to slice off any white flesh or extra seeds. Lay each piece of pepper skin side down, then slice the pepper into strips. Keep the tip of your knife connected to the cutting board and use your other hand to slowly move peppers over as you slice. The width of the strips may vary based on the recipe you're making. To dice peppers, follow the same directions to remove the stem and the seeds. Slice the peppers into strips just like a julienne. The width of the strips will vary based on the recipe you're making. Turn the strips sideways and slice them again to create diced peppers of your desired size. If I'm making a recipe with diced peppers that are larger chunks, like for a sheet pan meal, I like to keep the slices and dices a bit larger, like bite-sized. If I'm adding peppers to a soup or a stew, I finally dice them much smaller. To slice the peppers into rings, make a circular cut around the stem of the pepper and pull out the center. It should bring most of the seeds with it. I like to turn the pepper upside down and hit the bottom with the palm of my hand or a wooden spoon to remove any excess seeds. Pull out any white membranes on the inside. Lay the pepper on its side on the cutting board and slice the pepper into rings of your desired width. Discard or repurpose the end of the pepper. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to prep peppers for stuffing. Just like slicing peppers into rings, make a circular cut around the stem of the pepper and pull out the center. Remove any extra seeds or white flesh. If I'm making stuffed peppers, I like to save any extra pepper around the stem and dice it to add to the mixture inside. There you have it, the four most common ways to cut a bell pepper. I hope this helps you feel more confident in the kitchen every time a recipe calls for bell peppers. Thanks so much for joining me today, and don't forget to check out these healthy dinners. See you next time.